Hello, good morning. Welcome to business. My name is Daryl Kao. Ghana's economy is expected to become the fastest growing in sub-Saharan Africa this year. That's the view of Fitch Solutions, research arm of ratings agency Fitch. It is projecting a 4.8% expansion in the economy, consistent with that of the International Monetary Fund, Moody's and Standard Bank, but in sharp contrast with the World Bank, which is forecasting a modest 1.4% growth domestic product growth rate. William Atwell is a senior risk analyst at Fish Solutions in charge of Sub-Saharan Africa. He has been speaking to Joy Business. Uh, the outlook for Ghana is considerably more upbeat and we forecast fairly robust real GDP growth of 4.8%, which is among the highest rates for any major SSA economy. And this reflects fairly strong, a fairly strong consumer recovery, a um, second tranche of government stimulus spending and fairly healthy export performance. Sporadic protests are likely in the coming months, notably over governance concerns, but we think these will be fairly small scale and localized, and uh, they're unlikely to have a detrimental impact on the growth outlook. As in many, as is the case in many SSA, other SSA markets, Ghana experienced an initial rebound in growth, uh, with real GDP rising by a steady, if not spectacular, 3.1% in Q1. Uh, but the economy has subsequently faced some headwinds. Meanwhile, Data Bank Research is maintaining its end of year forecast of overall real GDP growth rate within 3.9 and 4.9%. According to its latest analysis of the economy, the increased utilization of spare production capacity will sustain the recovery in the manufacturing and trade subsectors. Charles Nixon Yabois has more. Data Bank Research said the high frequency data shows ongoing recovery in economic activity, but the pace of recovery in aggregate or collective demand is sluggish as the post-lockdown wage growth remains restrained. Furthermore, the rising cost of production occasioned by the tax and transport fare hikes and higher fuel costs are downside risks to the expansion in manufacturing and trade. But the food harvest season in the third quarter and the main cocoa season in the fourth quarter should propel agricultural growth in the second half of the year, albeit with some risk from the unfavorable rainfall pattern across the southern sector. The economy expanded by 3.1% in the first quarter of this year, spared by construction, manufacturing and ICT. Data Bank Research pointed out that, with the trade subsector also posting a modest growth of 2.7%, Ghana's growth pulse is gradually strengthening. Meanwhile, government will begin a gradual rollout of the 100 billion Ghana Cities Ghana Cares program from today over the medium term.